uh, since this bending moment decreases as the distance of the load from the support increases bending force f1 if you see is slightly less than the force f2 and this difference of f2 minus f1 is transferred inward toward the web by a longitudinal shear force fs you can see it here fs uh, in the case of uh, symmetrical section, uh, force P is applied in line with the principal axis and does not result in any twisting action on the member. This is because the torsional moment of the internal transverse shear force is equal to zero. But on the other hand, in case of the unsymmetrical section B, the internal transverse shear forces form a twisting moment. Therefore, the force must be applied eccentrically at a proper distance uh, along the shear axis so that it forms an external torsional moment which is equal and opposite to the internal torsional moment of that shear transverse shear force. If this precaution is not taken, there will be twisting action applied to the member which will twist under the load in addition to bending. Any axis of symmetry will also be the shear axis. There will be two shear axis and their intersection forms a shear.